Now, moving on to the next case. This is a case of a type 1 diabetes. Of course, type 1 diabetes is very rare in India. But if you look at the idea of statistics, we are number one in numbers in type 1 diabetes in the whole world with almost 1,29,000 subjects in India. This is a case of a 26-year-old gentleman and he has type 1 diabetes for the last more than 15 years, more than 15 years. And he also, in the history, is giving admissions to the hospital uh, and that too, recurrent admissions in the past for both hypo and hyper. And one month before the hospital visit, he had a life-threatening hypoglycemia. Currently, he is on a basal bolus regimen, but unfortunately, that was on human insulin, NPH and human regular insulin, which is probably not ideal, but of course, uh, looking at the uh, broader uh, background in India, most of our patients cannot afford analog insulins. And despite, according to him, uh, regular monitoring and on basal bolus regimen, uh, his A1C is 9.4. And this is very, very common. This is extremely common in type 1 diabetes. And he has early background retinopathy and also macroalbuminuria. Yes, he is having chronic kidney disease in early stages. And this is the current regimen with regular insulin uh, and long-acting insulin. And before our hospital admission, before visiting our hospital, he had 14 days of continuous glucose monitoring with the current regimen. The time in range is just 45% and time below range is 8% which is not at all acceptable, which is not at all acceptable for him. And he is a young man and we need to provide him with the best treatment. So we discussed with him on various options. One option is to move on to a basal bonus regimen with analog insulin. And along with that, instead of SMBG, he can use continuous glucose monitoring. And we also discussed about insulin pumps. Insulin pumps can either be standalone insulin pumps, which used to be there for a long time in our country, or it can be with 780G, which is the most recent addition to the family, the automated insulin delivery device, which has been made available in our country in India since January of 2022 and he readily after listening to uh, 780G and the various automated mechanisms available, he readily agreed and uh, this is how it looks like. You have the insulin pump over there <coughs> and this is the insulin pump. This is an advanced delivery gadget. This is uh, the, a smart insulin pump with a Bluetooth connectivity. And over there, you have the infusion set and uh, this is how insulin is infused continuously, subcutaneously. And there over there in the middle, either this can be there on the abdomen or it can be attached somewhere else. In the upper arm also, guardian sensor can be attached and this is for continuous glucose sensing. There is a third component which is a pivotal component in the making of an artificial pancreas and that is an algorithm which is there integrated within the insulin pump. So these are the three vital components uh, which contributes to an artificial pancreas. And after agreeing, he was admitted in our hospital for a training. Of course, for insulin pump deployment, you don't require any admission. It requires only a couple of minutes for deploying the insulin pump, maybe two or three minutes for deploying an insulin pump. But for training, very, very important. For training, it requires time. It requires a lot of time. It requires infrastructure for follow-up. And these are some basic uh, necessities when you are planning for advanced technologies in diabetes. Not all technologies, but these technologies require sufficient training to be imparted to our staff and this training need to be imparted to the patient as well. And this is a comparison before and after the time in range after 780G 
and this is at the end of seven days 74 percent time in range with absolutely no time below range and this is tar at the end of 14 days and this is tar uh, which the patient has sent me today morning and that is 100 percent time in range 100 percent time in range and these are some of the different pictures and he's also remotely monitored so from my mobile phone i can remotely monitor him and that is with the carelink app this is a download from the carelink app from the medtronic website uh, demonstrating the tar over there so this is tar 79 percentage and uh, this is the ambulatory glucose profile data and this is also providing you with the data on uh, the percentage time spent in smart guard the percentage time spent in manual mode the insulin pump which is an automated delivery device nowadays can be either in the manual mode or in the auto mode so 93 percent time spent in auto mode is it's sufficiently very successful in maintaining euglycemia uh, so let me briefly tell you something more about the insulin pump of course i will be discussing in much detail in another module on all the advancements related to continuous subcutaneous insulin infusion however remember these devices need to be advised and provided to only those patients who are eligible based on the published guidelines in the absence of which insulin pumps and automated insulin delivery devices can be a failure and this happens when you are deploying such devices to affordable patients who doesn't fulfill the criteria for providing them with an insulin pump so always remember affordability is not the criteria the criteria will be going by the guidelines sufficiently motivated and educated sufficiently motivated enough to sit for the training program with communicative skills and agreeing to the monitoring and follow program very very essential and the most essential for success i would say is the support from the family members